Hello, it's Sue. On this episode of The Buzz Club, we're looking for pileated woodpecker holes. See them in this tree? They're visible from pretty far away up the trail. How do we tell they belong to the pileated woodpecker? Well, let's take a closer look. The pileated is the largest woodpecker in North America. Its bill measures two and a half to three inches long, and it's capable of digging deep into the wood. The holes are usually large and very, very deep, about half the width of an adult hand, or probably the size of your whole little hand. Here we see more pileated holes at the base of a spruce tree. And if we look up close, we often see holes where the beetles are entering the wood. These smaller holes show that beetles are present in the base of this tree. The pileated woodpecker can actually hear the beetle activity inside the tree. And then it uses its stiff tail as a prop and its long bill to pound into the wood, which is usually pretty soft by then. This other hole above shows a bright, clear droplet of the tree's sap. The sap is the tree's way of protecting itself against invasion. Here we see more of the sap oozing out the bottom of the hole. It's the tree's chemical defense against most invaders, but certainly not against the pileated woodpecker. Start to notice the shape of their holes. And always at the bottom of the hole are the fresh pieces of wood that it has chiseled. The bright color of this wood shows that this pileated has been very active within the last week. The size of the pieces of wood also indicate pileated activity along with the size of the holes. And as you can see, most of my fingers fit inside this hole. Here's in another location, and you can see that this tree is partially decaying that branch is pretty dead, it's lost its bark, but the whole tree up further is still alive. Trees can live for a very long time after they've been invaded by insects and after they've even been chiseled away. They're still fresh cambium, allowing the sap to go from the roots to the buds and the leaves and the flowers. But this hole is pretty fresh. We can see by the wood chips on the ground and the color of the wood, and there are those beetle holes in the places of the tree that lost its bark. And we see the tree was wounded there. There's scar tissue on the right there showing the tree trying to heal around this wound, but it didn't make it quite in time. This hole's even a little deeper than the last one I showed you. And here's yet another tree where most of the bark is gone. And notice these holes are at the base of the tree. So they vary in position based on where the insects have invaded through a wound. The little bit of bark left on this tree shows me that it used to be a spruce tree. And again, there are our characteristic beetle holes. And you can even see the little squiggly lines that were under the bark where the beetles carved their tunnels. Often a characteristic of beetle infestation. Notice the color of this hole is a little bit dark on the bottom side and indicates it's older in age. And when we look at the base of this old spruce tree, there are no shavings or pieces of wood that the pileated woodpecker has left. 